show up the subject that we don't I thought, see, I went down to Sandy Point and I started heading uh, north on it because I went down to the end of the subdivision to see that uh, Hellcat. Yeah. And I don't, I didn't go all the way through. That's right. You didn't or you would have turned around. Yeah. The animals won't go and the UPS won't take it. But I'm saying if you all brought that up to this minimum With standard. What, sir? My cane? Hey, now here's, you know, I I here, 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 here's another problem we've got. Um, Peach and pear, like we say, get blue steak out of here. If you blue steak, peach and pear, may, maybe draw some out there and blade them. Here's the problem. The phone company boxes are here. They put all the lines out in the road on peach and pear. If you go back out when you leave, you go down go down pear, the phone lines are out in the road, and they're, they're laying out in the open. Peach, the same way, their phone lines are out in the road. They got one abandoned line in the road, but they put all their phones, all their phone lines are, are with the white, white footage. Will the county deliver some material that George can grade and cover that stuff? All right, I go back to what I said. Yeah. What, what I said earlier is until those roads are accepted, the county's not going to spend any money on it. Right. 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 Yeah. 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 Uh, do you have the statute numbers? 286705. Title 28? 286705. 6705. Okay, because I want to be able to And all the county out. highway statutes are 286701. That's what us county engineers do. Right, right. That's I knew you would probably know because I, right. I'd like to be able to post them in the Everything Meet You group Absolutely. so that these people can actually And uh, what there's it is also that you're a statute. About. There's a 48 uh, 1081 through 108401. 48 1081 through 10401 uh, that talks about a uh, road maintenance district uh, that can be formed for the maintaining of your roads where you could get all property owners involved assessed for that maintenance. And okay, so that's Aaron, that, those, Title 28, what was that number again? 48, 10, 80, 1081 through 1084. Sir, one more question and I'll leave you alone. Everybody, I'm sorry. You said if we didn't get if we can get everybody on the road, is that how you said that? To get to sign it off or get it up to code, is that it? If you get all those people that are wanting that roadway to contribute to having the road improved to make meet county standard, that would be one way Does to. Does that have to be every property owner? No, on? you don't have to get permission to do it. I'm saying I'm just giving you an option on how you can raise the funds. You know, so one guy doesn't have to put the Well, in some roads are only two. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. yeah. But, no, I appreciate it. Yep. Yes, ma'am. The question is, we have Charles in tertiary, April and October. Why can't it be once a month? Is tertiary maintenance only twice a year? Or is that your decision? That's, to that's what we. Place? That's what the board approved for the tertiary maintenance standard. And the, the actual language says that the road will be maintained once or twice a year and only after our regularly maintained roads are, are bladed. What we try to do, and what I've instructed our public works director to do, is when we have these storm events, let's ignore that. Let's try to ignore that and try to provide these people some relief and fix those roadways. And in the old days, we used to say, oh, your road's washed out, it's tertiary maintained. Sorry, we can't get to it until we've already maintained it twice a year. We can't get to it for six months. That's that's a, that doesn't happen anymore. So I think they've been trying to address it a little better. Like a wash you can't even go on it between April and October. It's awful dragging on it, and especially with the water collars and the trailer tubs and whatever else. And now the flooding, the damage at the entrance of yeah. Charles to Pierce Ferry. Now the state woman, of course, now we love it because it's 55. But in order to get all in the front of the traffic, your wheels spin, and so you don't yeah. get a really good shot of the safety. In fact, they need to fix the entrance. We need an asphalt. So Charles and Pierce Ferry. Yeah, and the other the other part, um, I don't disagree. I'm not saying we're going to do this. It goes back to what what I was saying. Uh, we accept roads for the in the condition that they were uh, accepted in. We approve roads to the conditions that they were accepted in. But let's say if a road was going from dirt to pavement, even though we maintain the road, we maintain it as a dirt road. If, it, if the people wanted a paved road, then it would be their responsibility to improve that roadway and then re the board to accept it as a paved road. Um, this was asphalt. Uh, we're talking Smith or Charles? Charles. 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 Yeah. Yeah. See, they should, I mean, if 
on on the asphalt portions on Smith and on Charles, I'm, that's one of the things that I was going to go back and talk to our public works director about. They should still be maintained with those asphalt. Yeah, I'll talk to them about that. Okay, but one other thing. I wanted to bring up one other point because we came down, my wife and I, when they were grading the property on Fair and Charles, and they were tearing out all the Joshua's, and they were all during the watch. And so mm -hmm. I went, we went down and said, they're doing something that's wrong. We're trying to change this wash. They're trying to put culverts and they're trying to do A, B, and C, D. And when we have one of these heavy, heavy rainstorms, that is going to go back to where it always does because rivers always do that. And that's exactly what happened. Plus, it created a new one washed out underneath his house and it's cut that road out 50 times worse than it ever was before. And the flood people came out to look at it and said there was no problem. Which road was that? Charles. Charles. Right there at the Charles and Perry. I didn't, I didn't see that part. Maybe we can mark. It's, it's right there at the front. Right on the corner. You can't miss. Michael, it's, it's, it's right there. It's a big metal building. And you see the mobile home? It's all the screens washed out from under. They diverted all the water at Charles right there. Instead of letting it used to go, they put their own little box in and diverted it. And now they're paying the price because it wiped their house out. But it's yeah. also white Charles. Yeah. 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 It was DMC that did the construction. DMC, he's down the road here on this. Right down yeah. the road, right out of here. Big metal yeah. building sitting out front of it. They called the dirt off. So, <laughs> he's right on the corner of the road. But what <laughs> really tore most people is on the corner of the road. Here's Yes, ma'am. We had an accident, an emergency assessment the day after that rain. This night, you know, and that's the uh, second of July. I called 911. I figured I could get out. We have a little tracker. He's done the roads and that. And we're fine. And uh, we got the night before. That night, a storm came in. I called 911. He was getting up. It took me a half hour plus to get out on Pierce Ferry. Now Smith, Glenn, Charles, all those that are dedicated roads and that, they were in pretty bad shape. I had to go down Sandy Point finally. I couldn't get to any of the other ones. I ended up going down Sandy Point all the way to Smith get out. I had to meet the ambulance and stop the hill and, and curse her. Now I'm not here to put any blame on anybody on the county or anything. But something has to be done. You got and I am the bottom line what I'm getting out of this is that it's up to us. It's up to us to get these roads in shape so that the county can take it over and get it dedicated. How many people here are willing to contribute financially to Beach? I contribute every time he grades that road. To anybody. So to help get these roads going, yeah. yeah. if you're yeah. willing to do it. You bet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna leave some cards. I'm gonna also leave the statutes on maintenance <laughs> district. Which maintenance district, I, improvement districts, I, I can't recommend to y'all. Because to form a maintenance district where everybody, all property owners would be responsible for paying, you got to get 75% of the property owners, and most of the people aren't, you don't, you can't find them. I'm going to say they're not here. They're not here. They're absolutely So here. the only solution I see is maybe road by road, piece by piece, let's get the roads up to county standards, get them, get them into us to accept. But before you spend a dime on those roads, Get our public works director people out there to show you exactly what needs to be done so there's yeah. no wasted money. Uh, that's what I ask the people to do. And then get them brought up to the standards, whoever you want to use, and then we'll get them in front of the board as quickly as possible and get them accepted. Yes, sir. Okay, that sounds uh, leads right into my question. These tertiary roads that turn in, not only here, but Dolan Spring, Dolan Valley, that turn into washes. Now, 
doesn't can't your team have they they go grade it and they fix it? Can't they just dig little culverts on the sides and so the water goes down? That, that's exactly what uh, Nick and I were talking about uh, when we saw air. It's a wash. I mean. And it's causing some issues that we probably haven't ever yeah. seen before There's because the Golden Valley. because it's it's now the now the runoff is going and exiting you know where the improvements are maybe somebody put a driveway in and the road decides to or the water decides to take off through the people's property we saw that you know instance a lot of times where the driveways were washed out but yeah if if you're if you if you take drainage into consideration put the road on one side the drainage on another and so that uh, at least the you have a surface to drive on. Well, now, what about your team? Of, Why can't they do that when they go to fix the road? Those they roads don't mean. Over. What we're talking about are the roads that aren't being. You're, you're talking road. about a barge edge. Right. But then, how does the people get out of the driveways? Yeah, they down to the road it. without a whole bunch of culverts. And when you get four inches of rain, it doesn't matter. matter. It doesn't matter yeah. because yeah. it all washes yeah. away. It doesn't. Uh, it doesn't <laughs> we have in place that protects anybody. Right. Right. Most of those yeah. roads are getting washes now. I remember uh, from Golden Valley. Right? Yeah, well, that's all right. You're, everybody's welcome here. I just I recognize it. So, any uh, any other questions? Does anybody call? Yeah. Oh, uh, on Smith. Okay, the county started that road. I don't know eight years ago, whatever, and then funds whatever got there. Now the base that they put on that road, it is washed for so bad it's got to be dug up and started over again. A lot of it's covered with dirt; you can't see it. But the actual base layer itself, it, it just did it over the years because it set so long. I got to educate myself on Smith. I got a lot of questions that I got. The one where the terrible drive I know I was Mount Smith, and I I didn't I had to ask Frank. I said, "Who put that uh, cold mix on Smith?" And he said the county did. And it was a it was and a was, one day job. He said it was it wasn't a it, it was a one day job if I remember right. It was a wham bam. So I got it. I got to talk to my public works director on that. Yeah, and, and Steve wasn't uh, he was he wasn't there then. Yes. Yeah. I mean, he was there. probably there. But not there. Frank, oh, <laughs> Frank. But you weren't here. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I wasn't here. You were like it. Yeah, Frank. This way sounds fancy, but uh, my crew didn't do it. No, I said you was here at that time, though. I was here. Yeah. yeah. And uh, no, you helped us out a lot out there. I, I know on am Peach, and you, you did several times on occasion that I would nudge out a bit when it looked like it was safe to concern. You see it. Yes, sir. Yeah. And and. Uh, if it was a, like a public safety thing, a common sense point in, or yeah. issues, I tried to help them as much as I could. Yeah. But by the same token, I could only you know, extend myself. I know. I, I was in the terms of the county. Because yeah, your ass was on the line. <laughs> um, no, we, we weren't dumping on you, Frank. It's just you too bad to in the area at that time. No. Man, you're out of no, no. I'm familiar with it. And I'll tell you what, just, just uh, for the record, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it, Frank. Being a part of the county and how great a job he's well, done. Well, he, he was a big part of really helping out up here. He, he got a lot of stuff done up here. Yeah. Yeah. And now he's still serving us in our, on our transportation. Yeah. But if, if you guys, yes, I'm sorry. No, if, you, if you guys have a four wheel drive and you go out, go out, go out to Charles to Pier and go down here, you know, before they paid Diamond Bar Road, Pier used to have a drop off about like this all the way down it. And after you right they paved it in that first rain, and then from, uh, from Rainbow to Smith, uh, Lucky Donnie, and, or, or Byron, you can go down there after the rain, you know, and get through. Ever since they've gone by, it wasn't some road, you can't even go through them anymore. But Pear was only this deep. Now, Pear is down this deep in there, on the, in there from the water rushing down from above and coming in there and, and wiping everything out. Let's, let's, let's do this. Uh, I'm going to leave some cards. When you guys get ready, Give me a call. We can organize another meeting where we can, with a goal, this goal in mind. Try to get Lake Mead City group, whatever uh, people are interested, organized to bring those roads, maybe one at a time, up to standards. And uh, I'll have my public works director out here 
we should talk about it, come up with a game plan, and then start getting some of those roads that aren't maintained by the county except for maintenance by the county. Yes, ma'am. Talking about like big city, you don't live on that side of town. You don't live on big city. It's just a George Beach. Uh, 
if we have war shops, they go out and fix up, fix up those roads. They do that sort of stuff. Uh, we also have a capital improvement plan that we don't get to spend a lot of money on for county highways. Uh, we try to target uh, important regionally significant routes. And, uh, uh, and, and for the benefit of the people in this room, what is the current balance of the highway user revenue fund? Twelve and a half million. Twelve and a half million. In yeah. The and one of the things that you have to realize: if something happens catastrophic, we're responsible for it. When we lost the bridge up in Beaver Dam, we ran through a million and a half dollars in 24 hours. It well, was up there. That, that, you can get emergency funding from the state. No, no, you, those kind no of you can't. Oh, yes, you can. No, you can't. Oh, we can. No. Now, that's not true. We were lucky and we got federal funding to replace that bridge. But unless there's a certain level, like a, a certain threshold of houses damaged, which uh, we, we don't get any, we don't get any emergency can I, funding. Can I say something? The other thing is that. When we lose a bridge, that's $8 million. We've got $140 million of infrastructure, uh, roadway infrastructure in this county. It's only reasonable, and nobody's going to convince me otherwise, to keep about 10% in contingency to protect that infrastructure. And if they want to do something different, the board certainly can, but it wouldn't be, uh, it would be over my recommendation. So, I, so I, I, I just, let me just say that it's your issue, because I, I manage that. Uh, that bridge actually cost all together and everything about ten million dollars. It uh, took about uh, six, seven years to get that money. And at first, you know, that community was cut up. The county spent one point five million dollars their own money, and it took like you know six years to get it back. And then we almost did it. Ten million, and almost did it. And uh, then we spent another uh, one point five million on. Another uh, flood control stuff, and uh, we and we got uh, seventy-five percent of that. So the state had to come up with like three, four hundred thousand dollars for it, and it took years. It took years. And it took, and it, it happened back in uh, two thousand five. Okay. And now in two thousand ten, we got zero. This is where the federal government is not, and. Uh, my guess is right now that we get again zero. It, it took a, a federal a, a presidential declaration to get that uh, bridge. And there was a, a, a president declared emergency. But these days, like again, 2010, mm -hmm. anything that we are applying for, we pretty much get zero. So that's. The point is we need a contingency so fund. The, the, county, the county has, and I don't know, Mike knows better, but they have like. Over 100, uh, 140, 140 people in, in the public works. And that's what they do. They work a lot more efficiently than private. We could bid it all up, but there's nobody around to do Phoenix and Tucson. I, I know all those people. They bid out the work, but it costs like two or three times that much. So we have our own force here, very efficient, but that's our only insurance policies. So if anything gets washed out, and I, I know things get washed out here on the throat that uh, goes down to Lake Mesa, uh, Rex Hyda, uh, the train crossing. When it washed out, people were cut out. Nobody came to help. The county spent a ton of money to, uh, to fix it up. It yeah, happens all the time. Yeah. We have a contingency fund, and we hope that if it's declared an emergency or a disaster, the federal people will reimburse us. But like uh, Nick said, it takes years and years and years to get that reimbursement. So. We have to have money put aside to take care of folks if, if these kind of disasters happen. Just like the, the double flood here, there's no way to predict that an inference is going to happen. And how much is in the rainy day fund also? Because that that's it. also that's, that's it. Okay. So it's there's 12 right. million in right. her fund, but in the county's rainy day fund or, or excess, are, are those two separate accounts? Yeah. One of them's a uh, general fund. Right. And one of, and uh, I want to. I'll take this opportunity to speak on that. There's 16 million, no, let's call it 14 million in that, and it's not a rainy day fund. It's a fund balance and contingency, and we think that's too low. And a lot of people argue that, oh my God, we got 16, 14 million in contingency. One of the things that happened last year, uh, we get paid twice a year, basically, you know, in our in our tax revenue. So we've got to have sufficient, and we run through a lot of money. We have to have sufficient monies in reserve carry us through 
until we get our tax monies again. We get them in April and in November. Uh, and the large one is in April, the smaller one is in November. I had my finance director come to me last year and said, Mike, I'm not sure we're going to, because we cut our contingencies down so much. He goes, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to cover more uh, in October. And I said, well, the board approved transferring uh, the three million out of the vehicle replacement fund that was ceded to the vehicle replacement fund when we first started it. Did you count that money? She goes, no. And I said, well, it we should be okay. Come back and talk to me after you figure it out. And she came back. She goes, we're going to be okay. We're going to spend about a million two out of that vehicle replacement fund. So that means we have been upside down about a million, over a million dollars if we wouldn't have transferred that money out. That's how important it is to have that fund balance in the county. Oh, and say we don't know how the state's going to handle it. There's a lot of energy. Yeah, what Frank said was that uh, we don't get a consistent amount in every month in, in her. Uh, it, it's not bad, but it's not consistent. But what's happened to us in the past is the state has come down and said, oh, we're going to reduce the amount going to the counties, you know, X amount, and we're going to give it to DPS, and we're going to give it to something else. So, from year to year, you know, part of that contingency is to make sure that we have enough money to fund. And to, to fund yeah, the Mike, I got a question. You guys have accepted Charles for tertiary. Yes, sir. Right. We have a one big major wash. Fills up washing down every year. How hard is it going to be to have a box called built there? Or get some 48 inch CMP pipe, put them in there so we can make the road across there. So the next time this happens, we don't get stuck in Charles. That's the main way in and out for Lake Mead City and uh, Mead. It's not just Charles, Glenn does it too. Yeah, Glenn does it too. Yeah. 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 More people are serviced off. We'll yeah. start with Charles. But it definitely needs We go through this every year. And that's a lot of you know, if I, I, I tell you what, there, I know there we have enough building to build it out if we can do it, but you know, you get too much politics for God's sake. And there's nothing simple to jump in the box called. But if we have to, if you guys put in some 48 C and D pipes, three or four of them will work at it, fill over the top of it, we'll have a road. And, and I'll tell you generally, like I mentioned earlier, we maintain the road in the condition that it was accepted. So if there's any improvements, it would be by the people, but I'm not saying it won't happen. All right. I'm not I'm saying not likely. But it's something that all will discuss with the buddy who works through. You know, it, it seems logical. But the problem we've got is there's so much water, you know, in that particular horse, there's so much water that's going through there. If you put something inadequate in there that won't pass a significant amount of water, you'll just take it out and it'll be money that was spent for nothing. And it'll cause more of a problem in the future. So sometimes, sometimes a, a hardened, on grade crossing out here in the desert is better than you know, trying to put any type of structure in there. Pay attention, Ron. You take a hole. <laughs> yeah, and, and here's the drainage basin that's <laughs> actually in fact. All that. over you Florida. Know, it's huge. Yeah, when you get four to the right, you Yeah, it's the same. Yeah. No, they're like 20 feet deep. They have acres of ponds and whatnot just for retention. And this is Florida. But anyway, let's, let's uh, try to. Let me know when you all want to hold another meeting, and I'll come out here, get a, get some semblance of a plan together on a road or all the roads that you want to bring up to county standard. And let's come up with a plan and get get my staff out here yesterday. Like, uh, just a suggestion that uh, um, what I would I would suggest that you know, send out all the public roads technicians and drive the roads with you guys to see which one is close and what would have to be done. Do a pretty good survey and then have another meeting with Mike and say this is what 
So these are the roads, like uh, you know, I drove it a little bit yesterday. Some of them are pretty close. That uh, you could uh, say, well, they, this is how much it takes, and then go piece by piece. And uh, but have somebody from from public works drive it with you or, or without you. Just uh, have some good suggestions and good survey. We we drove the roads, but we don't know. You know that, you can mark it. Well, Peach was our Peach was one of our best roads for water haul. But let's let's do it like I said. Let's, let's give me a call. Let me set the meeting. We can set up where our people can come out and drive the roads with your people look at them. I think we need that first. Peach is as close right. Well, but Peach is right now is pretty navigable. It's like you know, you drive up and down, but it does have some issues. Yeah, it's it's, it's really bad now. But it may be that. Uh, you know, the standard isn't that part. It may be that as Mr. Beach is working on the roadways, if he had an idea of what would be necessary to bring a, bring a road or a couple of roads well, standard, we can get him in. I think that's what we should do. See, we should pick a road okay. and then work on it, get it up, and let the county have it, and we'll work on another one. So they came out. Is there any assistance that the county can give these people to, to figure out ways on how to get enough funding Thank you. 